From Africa to South America to the South Pacific, a new kind of mercenary is stalking the globe. But these are not the traditional dogs of war, more an advance army for commercial interests wanting to exploit the world's mineral resources. Sure, sometimes you might have to kill people because you can't take a prisoner or because it's your risk or theirs, but everybody takes their own chance. Many, in fact, stand little chance, outgunned by mercenaries who are better trained, better armed, and better equipped. Of course, they are sophisticated. It's really like a first-class football team playing a fourth division in most of these countries. And uh, it's very sad. And as with every other armed conflict, it's the civilians and the bystanders who inevitably suffer. When you talk about your it has to come down to whether you want security or not. If you don't have security, you don't attract foreign investment, your economy doesn't, and your, your economy and your infrastructure doesn't develop, and therefore you can't progress. The people who were bombing were in the aircraft. They were bombing this uh, places like San Pedro market where they were seeing uh, a lot of people. More than uh, 500 people were dead in that time. I mean, there may be allegations about executive outcomes, behavior in certain countries, but as far as I'm aware, there is absolutely nothing to substantiate any of these. I mean, these all. are you know eyewitnesses who were there when you know the markets of civilians were bombed, uh, when people in helicopter gunships shot civilians running a across fields. I mean, well, I'm not going to get into a discussion accounts. about that because I wasn't there. These mercenary companies are now multi-million pound businesses with corporate videos, computer graphics, and all the trimmings of a well-financed multinational. We offer a vast range of services, um, anything related from land warfare, air warfare to naval warfare. So it really encompasses the whole spectrum of the military. For many Western governments, these people are seen as an essential part of the new world order, as developing countries desperately try now to establish stability and economic prosperity. I think the reason we're seeing this phenomenon return is uh, it's filling a gap filling a need, a perceived need, a real need, actually. But in their wake, the new mercenaries bring little but chaos, death, and destruction. The world is an extremely dangerous and volatile place.